Lee Remick, an actress known for her striking blue eyes and arresting stage presence, was often compared to other Hollywood greats such as Marilyn Monroe and Bridget Bardo. However, she was much more than just a pretty face. Remick was a true artist who embraced the diversity of characterization and brought her own unique style to every role she played. Her ability to adapt to a wide range of characters set her apart from her peers and made her a favorite among directors and audiences alike. Whether she was playing a glamorous socialite or a down-to-earth everywoman, Remick brought depth and nuance to each performance. Despite the pressures of the entertainment industry, Remick remained true to herself and her art, never compromising her values or her vision. She was a trailblazer who paved the way for future generations of actresses and left behind a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. At the tender age of 22, Lee Remick catapulted to fame with her debut film, a face in the crowd critics were quick to praise the young actress for her striking blue eyes and the haughty stares that added to her star appeal. But it wasn't just her looks that caught their attention, it was her ability to adapt to any role with ease. Remick's acting adaptability was evident in her diverse range of roles. She played everything from a troubled debutante in Anatomy of a Murder to a struggling alcoholic in The Days of Wine and Roses. In each performance, she brought a level of intensity and authenticity that left audiences and critics in awe. Her adaptability wasn't limited to the big screen. Remick also made a name for herself on stage, earning a Tony nomination for her performance in Wait Until Dark. She was equally at home in television, earning an Emmy for her role in The Letter. Remick's ability to adapt to any role was due in part to her natural talent, but also to her dedication to her craft. She studied acting under some of the best teachers in the business and was known for her meticulous preparation for each role. In Anatomy of a Murder, Remick's character was a complex mix of vulnerability and strength. She played a young woman who had been raped, but who also had a complicated past. Remick's performance was nuanced and powerful, earning her critical acclaim and a place in the annals of classic film. In the days of wine and roses, Remick played a woman struggling with alcoholism. It was a raw and honest performance, one that required her to dig deep and expose her own vulnerabilities. Remick's portrayal of a woman on the brink of destruction was both heartbreaking and mesmerizing. Remick's ability to adapt to any role made her a favorite among directors and audiences alike. She was a true chameleon, able to slip into any character with ease and make it her own. Her legacy as an adaptable performer continues to inspire actors today. The debate surrounding Lee Remick's best role often centers around two distinct performances, a seductive character and a tormented alcoholic. In the days of wine and roses, Remick delivered a powerful portrayal of a woman struggling with addiction, showcasing her emotional depth and range. On the other hand, her alluring and captivating performance and experiment in terror showcased a different side of her talent. Remick's ability to transition between such varied roles with apparent ease left critics in awe. Her performances were consistently dynamic and engaging, earning her a reputation as one of Hollywood's most talented actresses. In addition to her performance versatility, Remick was once promoted as America's answer to Bridget Bardo. This comparison highlights Remick's undeniable sex appeal and glamour, which she brought to the screen in many of her films. Despite the comparison to Bardo, Remick's talent and style were distinctly American. She brought a unique energy and vibrancy to each role, making her a favorite among audiences and critics alike. Remick's contributions to the world of film and television continue to resonate with audiences today. Her ability to captivate audiences and bring depth and nuance to her characters remains a testament to her enduring talent and legacy. Whether playing a seductive siren or a tormented soul, Remix performances were always intriguing and unforgettable. Her impact on the industry transcended her time, leaving a lasting mark that continues to inspire and influence actors today. It's impossible to step in Remix shoes but her classic films and shows remain a bustling landscape, inviting us to picture this captivating actress in all her glory. Lee Remick, an actress known for her striking beauty, faced the challenge of having her looks sometimes overshadow her talent. However, this did not stop her from delivering powerful performances in films, stage productions, and television dramas. In the 1962 film Days of Wine and Roses, Remick's portrayal of a woman struggling with alcoholism earned her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress. 
Her performance was a testament to her ability to convey complex emotions and experiences, proving that she was more than just a pretty face. Remix talent was recognized and celebrated by her peers in the industry. She won a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a Motion Picture Drama for Days of Wine and Roses, and a BAFTA TV Award for Best Actress for her role in the television drama The Woman in White. The actress's career spanned over 36 years, during which she made a significant impact on the entertainment industry. She was known for her stylish image and her ability to brighten any film or show she was a part of. Despite the distraction that her beauty may have caused, remix talent and dedication to her craft cannot be denied. She proved herself to be a force to be reckoned with in the entertainment industry and left behind a legacy of powerful performances. Her career is a testament to the longevity and versatility of a truly talented actress. Lee Remick, born Lee Ann Remick on December 14, 1935, in Quincy, Massachusetts, had a life that was marked by both her passion for acting and her battle against cancer. The daughter of an actress mother and a department store owner father, Remick was no stranger to the spotlight. As a young girl, Remick's talent for acting was evident. She attended the prestigious Barnard College in New York City, where she studied drama and quickly made a name for herself on the stage. It wasn't long before she made the leap to the big screen, appearing in her first film, A Face in the Crowd, in 1957. Remick's career continued to take off, and she became known for her roles in classic films such as The Long, Hot Summer, Anatomy of a Murder, and Days of Wine and Roses, for which she received an Academy Award nomination. She also had a successful career on television, with notable roles in miniseries such as The Women's Room and Jacqueline Suzanne's Valley of the Dolls. But in 1997, Remix life took a dramatic turn when she was diagnosed with cancer. She bravely battled the disease for 24 months, becoming a spokesperson for cancer victims and raising awareness about the importance of early detection and treatment. Despite the challenges she faced, Remix remained committed to her craft continuing to act throughout her cancer battle. She appeared in her final film, The Legend of Bagger Vance, in 2000, just two years before her passing. Today, Remick is remembered not only for her incredible talent as an actress, but also for her strength and resilience in the face of adversity. Her legacy continues to inspire and impact those who knew her and those who continue to enjoy her work on the stage and screen. Lee Remick, born in 1935, had a solid educational background before she decided to pursue acting. She attended the Miss Hewitt School in Boston, a prestigious institution known for providing young women with a well-rounded education. Later, she enrolled at Barnard College, a women's college in New York City, but she did not complete her studies. Instead, she dropped out to pursue her passion for acting. In 1953, the actress made her Broadway debut in Be Your Age, comedy that received mixed reviews but provided Remick with an opportunity to showcase her talent. Her performance in the play helped her gain recognition in the industry and she began to receive offers for television roles. Remick appeared in several TV anthology series in the mid-1950s which helped establish her career in the entertainment industry. These shows included Studio One, Playhouse 90, and Kraft Television Theater. Her appearances in these classic shows allowed her to work with some of the most talented writers, directors, and actors of the time, further honing her skills and preparing her for future roles. Throughout her career, Remick continued to work in both television and film, delivering memorable performances that showcased her versatility and talent. Her contributions to the entertainment industry will always be remembered, and her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors today. In 1957, Lee Remick made her historic debut in Aaliyah Kazan's film, A Face in the Crowd. The actress, cast as an erotic cheerleader, instantly won over many fans with her captivating performance. This classic marked the beginning of a series of remarkable roles for Remick, who quickly established herself as a talented and intriguing figure in the film industry. Following her debut, Remick went on to appear in the long, hot summer in 1958, further solidifying her status as a rising star. In 1959, she delivered a powerful performance in Anatomy of a Murder, which earned her critical acclaim and a place among the most accomplished actresses of her time. Despite the success she found in acting, Remick's path to stardom was not without its challenges. The actress faced a difficult decision early on as she struggled to balance her busy schedule with her education. 
Ultimately, Remick chose to focus on her acting career, sacrificing her education in the process. Remick's decision to prioritize acting over education was not taken lightly. She recognized the importance of a well-rounded education, but the demands of her career left her with little time or energy to devote to her studies. The stress of trying to balance both took a toll on the young actress, who ultimately decided to dedicate herself fully to her craft. Remick's early roles in A Face in the Crowd, The Long, Hot Summer, and Anatomy of a Murder set the stage for a successful and enduring career in the film industry. Despite the challenges she faced, the actress remained committed to her craft, delivering powerful and memorable performances that continue to resonate with audiences today. Lee Remick's breakthrough role in the film Days of Wine and Roses catapulted her to fame and earned her an Oscar nomination. This classic drama showcased her ability to portray complex and nuanced characters, setting her apart from her contemporaries. Remick was known for her careful selection of roles, often avoiding typecasting as a sex symbol. She preferred to challenge herself with diverse and compelling characters, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. One of Remick's most memorable roles was in the Broadway performance of Wait Until Dark. In this gripping show, she played a blind lady, demonstrating her remarkable range as an actress. Her portrayal of a vulnerable yet resilient character was both chilling and captivating, earning her widespread acclaim. Throughout her career, Lee Remick continued to choose roles that allowed her to explore different aspects of her craft. She was a trailblazer in the world of film and theater, paving the way for future generations of actresses to take on complex and dynamic characters. Her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, inspiring new generations to appreciate her timeless talent. In the early 1960s, the actress Lee Remick was considered to replace Marilyn Monroe in the film Something's Gotta Give. Although Remick didn't take on the role, this opportunity highlighted her rising status in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Remick made several TV appearances, even continuing into the late 1980s. She graced the small screen in various shows and movies, showcasing her talent and range as an actress. Remick was known for her method preparation, going above and beyond to accurately portray her characters. For instance, she attended Alcoholics Anonymous meetings to prepare for her role in the film Days of Wine and Roses. This level of dedication and authenticity allowed her to deliver powerful and convincing performances. In this classic film, Remick's portrayal of a woman struggling with alcoholism resonated with audiences and earned her critical acclaim. Her ability to embody complex and challenging roles set her apart from her peers and solidified her place as a respected actress in the industry. Remick's impact on the film and television industry is still felt today as her dedication to her craft and memorable performances continue to inspire aspiring actors and actresses. Her legacy is a testament to the power of method preparation and the importance of authenticity in storytelling. Lee Remick's first marriage was to Bill Colrain, with whom she had two children. After their divorce, she found love again with Kit Gowans, and they remained together until her passing. In 1999, the actress received devastating news when she was diagnosed with tumors. She bravely battled cancer, but unfortunately, she succumbed to the disease in 1991. Despite her health decline, Remick continued to work in the industry she loved. Her final public appearance was a significant one as she received her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on April 29, 1991. It was a well-deserved honor for this classic actress who had left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. As she stood there, surrounded by her peers and fans, Remick must have felt a sense of pride and accomplishment. She had come a long way from her humble beginnings and had achieved great success in her career. Her work would continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. Throughout her life, Remick had faced many challenges, but she had always faced them with grace and determination. Her cancer diagnosis was no different. She fought valiantly until the end, never losing her spirit or her love for the arts. As we remember Lee Remick, we honor her contributions to the world of film and television. She was a true talent and her work will continue to captivate and inspire us for years to come. Her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is a testament to her enduring legacy, a legacy that will never be forgotten. Lee Remick, the accomplished actress, passed away on July 2, 1991, after a battle with kidney cancer. She left behind a rich legacy 
and was survived by her husband, Kit Gowans, as well as two children, two stepdaughters, and two grandchildren. Throughout her career, Remick made a significant impact on the film industry and paved the way for independent actresses in Hollywood. Her work was marked by her versatility and commitment to her craft, which resonated with audiences and critics alike. In this classic film, Days of Wine and Roses, Remick delivered a powerful performance that showcased her range as an actress. She played a woman struggling with alcoholism, and her portrayal was both nuanced and heart-wrenching. The film was a critical success and is still remembered today as a testament to Remick's talent. Remick's work in television was equally impressive. She starred in the popular show The Paradise Connection, which aired in the 1980s and solidified her status as a leading lady. Her performance was praised for its depth and complexity, and she continued to push boundaries in her roles. Despite her untimely death, Remick's legacy lies on through her work and the impact she had on the film industry. She is remembered as a trailblazer who paved the way for future generations of independent actresses in Hollywood. Her contributions to the world of film and television will always be cherished. Throughout her career, Remick remained dedicated to her craft and never shied away from taking on challenging roles. She leaves behind a body of work that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Her memory will always be etched in the annals of film and television history. In the world of acting, few names shine as brightly as Lee Remick. Born on December 14, 1935, in Quincy, Massachusetts, Remick quickly rose to fame for her undeniable talent and captivating screen presence. Throughout her career, Remick graced both the big and small screens, delivering unforgettable performances that left audiences in awe. In 1957, she made her film debut in A Face in the Crowd, and just two years later, she received her first Academy Award nomination for Anatomy of a Murder. Remick's career continued to soar in the 1960s, with standout roles in Days of Wine, in Roses, and The Detective. Her ability to seamlessly transition between drama and comedy earned her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. In the 1970s, Remick continued to make her mark in Hollywood, appearing in hit films such as The Omen and Heaven Can Wait. She also returned to television, earning an Emmy nomination for her role in the miniseries Jenny Lady Randolph Churchill. Despite her untimely passing in 1991, Lee Remick's legacy lives on. Her unforgettable performances and contributions to the world of acting continue to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Her ability to bring complex characters to life and leave a lasting impression on viewers is a testament to her enduring talent and impact on the industry. Born in Quincy, Massachusetts on December 14, 1935, Lee Remick was destined for a life in the spotlight. Her father, Francis Edgar Remick, was a prominent figure in the banking industry, while her mother, Gertrude Margaret, was a talented singer. Growing up in a family that appreciated the arts, it's no surprise that Lee developed a passion for acting at a young age. Lee's early years were spent in New York City, where she attended the prestigious Barnard School for Girls. It was here that she discovered her love for drama, often participating in school plays and productions. Her natural talent and charisma were evident even then, and it wasn't long before she caught the eye of influential figures in the entertainment industry. One such individual was Aaliyah Kazan, the renowned director and actor. Kazan recognized Lee's potential and became a mentor to her, casting her in several of his productions. Under his guidance, Lee honed her craft and developed the skills that would make her one of the most respected actresses of her time. Another key influence in Lee's life was her first husband, Bill Colloran. The two met while Lee was still in her teens and married in 1957. Colloran was a successful music producer and provided Lee with the stability and support she needed to focus on her career. Together, they had four children, and despite their eventual divorce in 1974, Colloran remained a significant influence in Lee's life until her untimely death in 1991. Throughout her career, Lee worked with some of the most celebrated directors and actors of her time, including Alfred Hitchcock, Sidney Lumet, and Marlon Brando. Each of these individuals played a role in shaping Lee's career and solidifying her status as a talented and versatile actress. In conclusion, Lee Remick's early years were marked by a supportive family, a passion for the arts, and the guidance of influential mentors. From her upbringing in a family that valued creativity to her mentorship under Aaliyah Kazan, 
Each experience helped shape Lee into the accomplished actress she became. Growing up in a family of artists, it was only natural for Lee Remick to discover her passion for acting at a young age. She was just 12 when she first experienced the thrill of being on stage, performing in a school production of The Curious Savage. Her performance was so impressive that her drama teacher, Miss Adelaide Hawkins, predicted a bright future for the young actress. Remick's mother, Gertrude, was a talented pianist, and her father, Francis, was a prominent attorney. Despite their successful careers, they encouraged their daughter's artistic pursuits. Lee's parents often took her to the theater, where she fell in love with the magic of live performances. During her teenage years, Remick attended the prestigious Abbott Academy in Andover, Massachusetts. It was there that she truly discovered her passion for acting. She participated in numerous school plays, captivating audiences with her natural talent and charisma. After graduating from Abbott Academy, Remick enrolled in the prestigious actor studio in New York City. Under the guidance of renowned acting coach Lee Strasberg, she owned her craft and developed her unique style. Strasberg, who also taught Marlon Brando and James Dean, recognized Remick's potential and became a mentor to the young actress. Remick's dedication to her craft was evident in every performance. She once said, I love acting. I love the process of creating a character. I love the challenge of making an audience believe in that character. Her passion for acting was infectious, and she quickly became one of Hollywood's most sought after leading ladies. Throughout her career, Remick continued to push herself, taking on challenging roles that showcased her versatility and range. From her breakout role in A Face in the Crowd to her unforgettable performance in Days of Wine and Roses, Remick left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. In the end, it was clear that Lee Remick's passion for acting was ignited at a young age and fueled by her experiences on stage and in the classroom. Her dedication to her craft and her unwavering commitment to her art made her one of the most respected and admired actresses of her time. Born into a family of modest means, Lee Remick's journey to becoming a successful actress was fraught with challenges. Financial struggles were a constant presence in her early life, with her family relying on her father's income as a department store owner. However, Remick's resilience and determination shone through, even at a young age. Remick's passion for acting began at a prestigious New York performing arts school, where she honed her craft and developed her unique style. Despite her talent, she faced skepticism from industry insiders who questioned her ability to make it in the competitive world of Hollywood. Undeterred, Remick found creative solutions to overcome these obstacles. She took on small roles in television shows and commercials, gradually building her reputation and gaining the notice of influential industry figures. One of Remick's earliest breaks came in the form of a role in the hit Broadway Playroom Service. Her performance was met with critical acclaim and she soon found herself in high demand in both theater and film. Despite her success, Remick remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to take on challenging roles and push herself as an artist, cementing her place as a respected and beloved figure in the world of entertainment. Through her resilience, determination, and creative problem solving, Lee Remick overcame the challenges she faced early on and became a shining star in the world of acting. Her legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. In 1957, Lee Remick, a young and promising actress, made her Broadway debut in Beekman Place. This breakthrough moment marked the beginning of a successful career in both theater and film. Remick's film career took off in 1959 when she starred in Anatomy of a Murder alongside James Stewart. The film received critical acclaim and Remick's performance was highly praised. The New York Times film critic, Bosley Crowther, noted her charm and sexiness and called her a real find. In 1962, Remick delivered a powerful performance in Days of Wine and Roses, a film about alcoholism. Her portrayal of a woman struggling with addiction was groundbreaking and earned her a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress. The film's director, Blake Edwards, praised Remick's ability to convey vulnerability and strength simultaneously. Remick's career continued to flourish throughout the 1960s and 1970s. She starred in a range of films, from thrillers like The Detective to dramas like No Way to Treat a Lady. In 1973, she received another Academy Award nomination for her role in The Hallelujah Trail. Throughout her career, Remick was known for her versatility 
and ability to portray complex characters. Her collaborators often spoke of her professionalism and dedication to her craft. Director John Frankenheimer, who worked with Remick on The Manchurian Candidate, said, she was a consummate actress, always prepared, always professional, and always a joy to work with. In the 1980s, Remick continued to work in film and television, earning critical acclaim for her performances in the competition and Jenny Lady Randolph Churchill. Her final film role was in the 1991 drama The Rapture. Lee Remick's career was marked by breakthrough moments that showcased her talent and versatility. From her Broadway debut to her groundbreaking performances in film, Remick left an indelible mark on the world of acting. Her legacy continues to resonate with audiences and inspire aspiring actors today. Lee Remick, a talented actress, brought depth and authenticity to her roles, making her a unique figure in Hollywood. Remick's artistic vision was characterized by her commitment to understanding and embodying her character's emotions and motivations. She once said, I like to find the truth in the character and then let the character tell the truth. Remick's approach to acting was deeply personal and intuitive. She believed in the power of imagination and improvisation, often finding inspiration in her own experiences and emotions. She explained, I think the most important thing an actor has to offer is their own emotional life. Remick's worldview was shaped by her experiences growing up in a family of artists and intellectuals. She was exposed to the arts at a young age and developed a deep appreciation for literature, music, and dance. These influences informed her work and gave her a unique perspective on the world. One of Remick's most notable roles was in the film Days of Wine and Roses, in which she played an alcoholic struggling with addiction. Remick brought a raw vulnerability to the role, drawing on her own experiences with addiction to create a powerful and authentic performance. Remick's work was also influenced by her political beliefs and social consciousness. She was an outspoken advocate for women's rights and civil liberties and her activism informed her art. In the film The Days of the Locust, Remick played a disillusioned actress struggling to find meaning in a chaotic and rapidly changing world. Her performance was a powerful commentary on the emptiness of celebrity culture and the search for meaning in a materialistic society. Remick's artistic vision and process were deeply intertwined with her personal experiences and worldview. She brought a unique perspective and authenticity to her roles creating unforgettable performances that continue to resonate with audiences today. Lee Remick, an actress who graced the silver screen in the mid 20th century, left an indelible mark on the film industry. Known for her versatility, she tackled a wide range of roles, from a troubled alcoholic in the days of wine and roses to a grieving mother in the omen. Remick's impact on Hollywood was significant. According to film critic Peter Travers, Lee Remick brought a rare combination of intelligence, vulnerability, and sex appeal to her roles. She was a trailblazer who paved the way for future actresses. Her performances were not only captivating, but also transcended the times. In A Face in the Crowd, Remick portrayed a small town girl who becomes a media sensation, a storyline that remains relevant today. Industry experts also note Remick's influence on storytelling. As film historian G9 Basinger explained, Remick's ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and nuance elevated the script she worked with. She had a unique talent for making the audience feel deeply for her characters. Actress Julian Moore, who cites Remick as an inspiration, adds, Lee Remick's performances were always so raw and real. She wasn't afraid to show vulnerability, and that's something I've always admired and tried to emulate in my own work. Remake's impact is also evident in the trends she set. She was one of the first actresses to successfully balance a career in film and television, appearing in classics like Experiment in Terror and Days of Wine and Roses while also starring in popular TV shows like The Edge of Night and Jenny Lady Randolph Churchill. In conclusion, Lee Remake's contribution to the film industry is undeniable. Her influence on trends, techniques, and storytelling continues to resonate today inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers. Lee Remick, an accomplished actress, was known for her work in films like Days of Wine and Roses and The Omen. However, her life extended beyond the silver screen, revealing a woman deeply committed to her personal values and interests. Remick was a passionate advocate for animal rights. She used her platform to raise awareness about the humane treatment of animals 
and supported various organizations dedicated to their welfare. In her free time, she enjoyed horseback riding, which further fueled her love for animals. Additionally, Remick was involved in several philanthropic efforts. She was a prominent supporter of the American Cancer Society, having lost her mother to the disease. She participated in numerous fundraising events and campaigns to help find a cure and support those affected by cancer. Remick's personal values also influenced her work as an actress. She often chose roles that reflected her beliefs and convictions, such as her portrayal of a woman struggling with alcoholism in Days of Wine and Roses. Her dedication to her craft and her commitment to making a difference can be seen in both her professional and personal life. Remake's love for animals and her dedication to fighting cancer are just a few examples of how her personal values and interests informed her work. Her philanthropic efforts and advocacy continue to inspire and make a difference in the lives of many long after her time on screen. Let's reflect on the legacy of Lee Remick, a talented actress who left an indelible mark in the film industry. Known for her versatile roles in films like Days of Wine and Roses and The Omen, Remick's ability to captivate audiences remains unforgettable. Her career, spanning over three decades, showcased her remarkable range from dramatic to comedic performances. Remick's work resonates with analysts of film history as her characters were often intricately etched, transcending the boundaries of the screen and leaving a lasting impact. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, Remick once offered valuable advice, always be true to yourself and never stop learning. The world of acting is a bustling landscape and you must constantly embark on new experiences to grow as an artist. She emphasized the importance of versatility and adaptability, encouraging aspiring professionals to step into various roles and embrace new challenges. Picture this as a vibrant tapestry where each thread represents a unique experience. The more threads you weave in, the richer your tapestry becomes, she said. As we look to the future, it's essential to honor Remick's legacy by nurturing the next generation of talented actors and actresses. By following her advice, we can ensure that the film industry continues to thrive, offering captivating stories and intriguing characters for years to come. Born in 1935, Lee Remick embarked on a remarkable journey in the entertainment industry. Her passion for acting was evident from the start, as she trained at the prestigious Actor Studio in New York City. Remick's innovative spirit shone through in her diverse range of roles. From her breakout performance in A Face in the Crowd to her Academy Award-nominated turns in Days of Wine and Roses and The Detective. Throughout her career, Remick pushed boundaries and defied expectations, tackling complex and nuanced characters with depth and sensitivity. She brought to life stories that resonated with audiences and left an indelible mark on the industry. Remick's impact transcended the silver screen as she also made her mark on the stage and in television. Her work in productions like Waiting for Lefty and The Member of the Wedding showcased her versatility and commitment to her craft. Despite facing personal and professional challenges, Remick never wavered in her passion for storytelling. She persevered, continuing to take on new roles and challenge herself as an artist. In the end, Lee Remick's enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her legacy serves as a reminder that with passion and determination, we can all leave our mark on the world. Without a doubt, Lee Remick was a truly talented actress who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Throughout her career, she demonstrated her versatility in a wide range of roles, from dramatic parts to comedic performances. Born on December 14, 1935, in Quincy, Massachusetts, Remick began her acting journey at a young age. She attended the prestigious Barnard College in New York City, where she honed her craft and began performing in various stage productions. Remick's breakout role came in 1957 when she starred in the film A Face in the Crowd. Her performance was met with critical acclaim, and she quickly became one of Hollywood's most sought-after actresses. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, Remick continued to deliver captivating performances in films such as Days of Wine and Roses, The Omen, and The Europeans. Her ability to portray complex and nuanced characters made her a fan favorite and cemented her status as a true thespian. Beyond her work in film, Remick also had a successful career on stage and television. She earned four Tony Award nominations for her work in Broadway productions and she starred in several popular television series, 
including The Edge of Night and Jenny Lady Randolph Churchill. Remake's impact on the entertainment industry transcended her own performances. She was a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, advocating for equal pay and opportunities for female actors. Her legacy continues to resonate with aspiring actors and filmmakers today. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Lee Remake's work and legacy? Share your comments below and let us know which of her performances stood out to you the most. And don't forget to like and share this post with your friends and family so we can continue to celebrate the creative spirits shaping entertainment.